Let's go around here. There's bracing on my walls. All right, in today's exciting episode, I'm going to explain what bracing is, why we need it in such a big room like this, and also you're going to see exactly how much work goes into just a simple plywood bracing sheet. Welcome to another exciting episode. So generally speaking, the more walls you have inside your house, the more easy it is to stabilize your house. Bracing units is what we're putting on here, and it can be plywood, it can be plasterboard, doesn't matter. The point is, it stops the walls going like that when a wind pressure or an earthquake pressure has been put against the house. What, how does that affect this job? Well, we made this a big open plan living room. There were walls in here. There were walls that were helping this house stay up, and we knocked them down. <laughs> So over the last few months, after we put the beam in, we've pretty much just been relying on the beam and the exterior walls that are still here. And those exterior walls don't have bracing on them, so I've been eager to get bracing on them. Of course, it's not as simple as just nailing a piece of plywood or screwing a piece of plywood to the walls. You have to make sure those walls, the framing of the walls, is substantial, is, is enough and built in a certain way to be a bracing wall. There are bolts that need to go into the bottom plate and those bolts need to attach to something. So basically that just means someone has to go into the house. He did it again. Look at him, look at him, look at him smile. <laughs> just sends me under the house, hey. <laughs> Sadist. It's the start of a great horror movie. The reason why I'm under here is that we need to put bolts in that new wall. If Scott drills from the top, then we know where the bolts go underneath. And we need to knock out between the floor joists. But if he drills now, his spade bit's gonna get stuck in the underfloor insulation. So I need to pull that out first. You're right into there, Ray. Yeah, I'm yeah, um, just uh, influencing. I found your prison shovel. Ah. So the, the idea here is that we need a bolt that goes from the bottom plate of the frame through the floorboards and into the joists but the joists run this way so we need to put a block in between for the bolt to hit yeah okay you can drill see that yeah yeah Oh! <laughs> Was that close? Yeah, you almost got my hand. What do you reckon? Okay, I'll give you measurements for the knob. I hope the knob's fit. Oh. Hey Scott! Okay, so gun battery flat. Call out to Scott to ask for a, a charged one. And thinking that he finally has to crawl on there and get his get himself dirty, but he finds the tiniest hole in the house and pokes that battery through there. That didn't work. I'm gonna put the drill bit down there, okay? You're not, you're not under the nog, are you? No, go for it. Wasn't too bad under there in the end. I need a race. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing with your, your rake there? You look like um, a witch. You're about to fly away. Finally. <laughs> no, I'm raking out the leaves before I mow the lawns. Okay. I'll leave you to it. You're gonna mow the lawns down? No, 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 but I don't. <laughs> the leaves are very valuable. They make a leaf mold. Yeah. And so I don't wanna just hang at them with the lawnmower. 
Okay. So first I'm gonna rake them up. There is a method to my madness. Okay. Have fun. So yeah, so far you can see it's, it's kind of simple, right? It's just a wall frame built continuously and then the floor is built continuously so the bolts can go into it. The wall and the floor is all connected. But sometimes, and especially with this renovation, the walls have been built to a standard that doesn't suit bracing. So you have to come up with solutions. See that? That is the old style of bracing. I was very disappointed to see that the framing is non-continuous. This bottom plate here is what? A stud going right down to the ground, a block, another stud going to a bottom plate, an actual bottom plate. And as a bracing unit, your frame has to be continuous. So, how do we cut the bottom of the wall without having everything collapse? Okay, so far so good. Now these three studs need to sit on top of our new bottom plate. Nail it before we take this off. Ah. Okay. Oh my god! And that's how you take a bottom plate out without the wall falling down. We have the air compressor right there, battery powered, and we have the Milwaukee track saw. Wow. This is the reason we have the air compressor. We have a pneumatic coil nailer, kindly lent to us by Eva and Chris. They've been on the channel before. That's nice. And these are the nails that we use. 50 mil, 2.8 millimeter, galvanized. That's what we need for the bracing. All right, let's give this a go. Where's that piece of wood? For those who don't know, in New Zealand, we do not use pneumatic tools as often as in America. So I'm still a little bit terrified, if I'm being perfectly honest. Air pressure, 70 to 120 psi. All right, so I've dialed that down a little bit. Oh. Yeah, even working in the UK, in my experience, we didn't use a lot of pneumatic guns. But I'm getting into it a bit more. That's why I um, asked Milwaukee for that compressor. I wanted something portable and lightweight and not too noisy because I'm not going to use a lot of pneumatic guns. So something easy to carry around is my kind of thing. Okay. Chip. Oh yeah, okay. So all this plywood has to be nailed to a certain pattern and that pattern is 150 millimeter centers on the perimeter of the sheet and 300 millimeter centers on the intermediate studs in the middle. I 
always uh, I'm always surprised by how small you actually are. <laughs> I love that you think your height is normal and oh, I am I mean, small. That's, it's just I am normal. <laughs> uh, like, look at you, you're standing on the on the on the stack of ply and you're not even my height yet. What's your height? Uh I only know centimeters, so one ninety four. Six foot um six foot three three inches and twenty five. <laughs> That's pretty tall. Is it? Yeah. Almost two meters. I'm average in the Netherlands. Really? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, but we need it because we're below sea level. <laughs> when the dikes break, you can still breathe. <laughs> That's it. Evolution's a wondrous thing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Ray was trying to argue before that he's normal height and I'm short. It's all about context, right? Yeah. Maybe in the Netherlands, not not down here. Well, that's what he said. Yeah. There's no context, there's only me being right. <laughs> there's no context, there's just Ray text. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Ray. <laughs> The sponsor of today's episode is Squarespace, which is an online website platform for people like you to stand out and succeed online. Maybe you have a building business, or maybe you're part of a company already and you want to get the brand out there, or you just want to sell your services. You can do all of this online with Squarespace, and it's all in one place, and because it's customizable, it's all on your terms as well. So for me, I really like the drag and drop functionality, like the fact that I can take photos on site, go home and upload them without knowing any code or anything. Squarespace make it easy to do that. And on top of that, they also have portfolios and galleries, so when you upload your images, they look even more professional. And if you really are starting a business and you want a custom domain name, you can do all of that with Squarespace as well. It's all built into their platform. They have .com, .net, all that stuff. You can do it all in one place. That's what makes it easy. It's like a one-stop shop. Squarespace also offer a free trial, which is great. And when you're ready to take that free trial, make sure you head over to Squarespace dot com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry and then you'll get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So thank you to Squarespace. Two more sheets apply. Remember that bottom plate? The one that I had to replace? Well here it is here. And we've got the bolts in there. And this insulation here is acoustic insulation. And it's the same stuff we used on the bedroom that is behind this wall. So that means that bedroom's got sound insulation all the way around it now. And now we can uh, pop the bracing on. Okay. That was the last bracing unit. No, second to last bracing unit. This is the last. One more sheet. Put the camera in the beautiful toilet here for this last glorious moment. There we go. Oh, what did Bear Grill say? Improvise, adapt, overcome. Camera's in the toilet. You can see the bracing. Last sheet. You okay? <laughs> Racing's done! Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! You're the first one to use the uh, Milwaukee track saw. Day one, what do you think? <laughs>